if this happens, you know, it, it could be um, a long night. I, I guess a, a formula for Ohio State to pull off the upset and beat um, Alabama. What do you think happens if Ohio State wins this? Um, it, probably if they get consistent pressure on Mac, not, not only because that um, that kind of negates to a certain extent how explosive you can be down the field. It also kind of forces Mac to run, which he's not a statue, but he's not a, a dual threat quarterback by any stretch of the imagination. Most of his carries is your quarterback sneaks on, on third and one. So that, that tells you something. And Alabama has had to do some things on, on the offensive line. They, they lost their starting center, Landon Dickerson, um, in the SEC championship game against Florida. They replaced him with an experienced player in, in Chris Owens, but then they had two guys on the interior of their offensive line paired with a, a starting guard, Deontay Brown, who are better run blockers than they are pass blockers. Um, so Ohio State getting pressure on, on Mac Jones would tell you that they have found – whatever inadequacies there are in Alabama's pass protection to to exploit those. And then it also limits some things that, that Alabama's offense can do down the field. And, and, and that's where Alabama's offensive line deserves a lot of credit. They, they won the Joe Moore Award this year, given to the best offensive line as a collective of five, as opposed to the individual parts that make it up. Um, they have enabled Alabama to execute these complex passing schemes and these double moves that Devontae Smith is constantly using to get open. And if that uh, goes away for, for a game, then, then Alabama's being forced into a situation that it really hasn't been in before. I mean, Mac hasn't really been forced to, to run for his life uh, at all, especially with any consistency. 